So, this is Lindsay reviewing my next book for the Mock Prince Book Club. And this time I read a book called No Safety in Numbers. And it's by Dana Lawrence. This is her first young adult novel. And in this book, the premise is actually pretty simple. Um, the whole book takes place in a shopping mall. And in the first chapter, one of our four main characters discovers a bomb, or we're not sure exactly what it is, but some kind of package in like a utility room near the mall. And he discovers it, calls in the police, and there the problems start. Um, basically what happens is because of this substance, that is in the utility closet, which isn't really identified. Everybody who's in the mall is quarantined off from the rest of society. And this story is told through the perspective of four characters. Um, their names are Shay, Marco, Lexi, and Ryan. And this is the current book cover as it is. So these four characters and you know hundreds of other people are trapped in the shopping mall. Um, the mayor happens to be in the mall at the time and because of her position she decides to close the mall off. Nobody can leave, nobody can come in um, because they're not sure what this is. At first they think it's a regular bomb and then it turns out that it's more biochemical in nature and they don't want things to spread outside of the mall. But in the meantime, everybody, you know, doesn't know what's going on. So you've got all these people trapped in the shopping mall and the story is told through four main characters. Um, I have a lot to say about this book actually. Um, I thought it was a really good read, first of all. It's great for um, a couple reasons. Um, the action is constantly moving. Like, the writing really moves, the plot really moves, and so from the beginning, I mean, you have the first character, um, which is introduced, which is Marco. He's the one that discovers the bomb, and pretty much everything happens right from the beginning. So. Um, you know, he's being chased by some boys, and that's why he runs into the closet. So, even from the beginning, the action's constantly moving, um, which is a good um, thing for young adult literature. Um, a lot of details, which are sometimes beautiful, but for a young adult audience, um, this is a fast-paced book, which most teens enjoy. Um, you've also got a common plot device, which is the four characters. Um, you've got, you know, kind of four stereotypical characters. Um, Marco is, um, he's foreign and he's kind of the juvenile delinquent of the group. You know, his, he's trying to keep his job, you know, and, um, avoiding be getting beat up by the boys at school. Then you've got the jock, Ryan. You've got Shay, who's from India, and she has kind of a goth look to her. She's very artistic. She likes poetry. And then you have Lexi, who's the computer geek, and um, she's also the mayor's daughter. So she's kind of in the more upper echelon of society than the other characters. So it's kind of that whole breakfast club device um, of the four people. But unlike in a lot of uh, books, like in a lot of books when you have that device, all of them end up becoming friends and working together and this doesn't really happen like that. Um, the characters' stories link up at different points but it's not like you ever have, maybe it's gonna come later, but you don't have the four different kids, you know, like all of a sudden they become best friends and everything. Um, they don't do that. You know, Lexi really doesn't interact with the other three characters at all. Um, both Marco and Ryan are attracted to Shay, um, but they spend a lot of their stories 
doing different things. So um, they only line up at certain points. Um, action's good. Character's good. Um, theme, not really sure, um, you know, what the theme is, but I do know the bomb is, you know, the real problem in this book isn't the bomb. It's when the people get trapped in the mall, you know, they start becoming, you know, doing anything to survive and get the things that they need. And, um, the mall, getting trapped in the mall creates that perfect scenario for that because it's like you, at first it seems kind of fun. It's like, okay, we're going to go spend the night in Abercrombie or on the, you know, in the mattresses in the mall. Um, you know, we're going to eat food court junk food all the time. And that all sounds great and almost like a big party at first. But over time, you get these things happening that it's like, oh, you know, that would be rough. Like, no, since there's no janitors, they come in to clean, you know, like the bathrooms are filthy. And they start running out of food. And um, people need sleep, but yet there's no relief. And the, the stores still are trying to keep, you know, hold on their merchandise, even though there's all this panic going on. So it's realistic in the sense that, like, they do really good at, the author did a really good job making this scenario realistic because when things happen, they make sense. You're like, oh yeah, I can see how that would um, be a problem. And so it creates this, um, you know, interesting kind of crazy situation, but yet you're watching these people degenerate into, you know, from being humane to each other to survival of the fittest mode and it's terror, you know, terrorizing to see when people get that way. Um, so I really enjoy the book. Um, I don't think I would call it award winning. I caught, this is another good. I enjoyed it. Um, there, I think there was a couple points that the dialogue was maybe lacking. Some of the phrases the teen said were a little trite or, oh, that sounds so stereotypical. So some of the dialogue seemed kind of cheesy. Um, you know, this football kid, Jock Ryan, he like runs into Shay and all of a sudden he's like, she's giving me feelings I've never had before. It's like, oh, really? Is that the best you could do? you know, as far as describing that, but I thought, like, the elements I mentioned make it really good, but the things that were lacking would be some of the, you know, the character's dialogue wasn't that great, and that's what keeps it, for me, from being, like, a, you know, bridging the gap between it from being good to an award winner. So, um, interested in what you guys think of this book, and look forward to hearing more about it from your perspective.